guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be a sit down video, which I haven't done in so long, but I have a super exciting announcement to make. And most of you are already aware of what I'm about to tell you guys, because you probably follow me on social media or you follow the boutiques account. But if you are not aware, I completely rebranded and I changed Sun Bunny to Sun Styled. So we are now Sun Styled and I am freaking in love with the new name and I know you guys have questions like why I did it, how I did it, and what's going to be changing about the boutique moving forward and all of that. So I've got myself my little notebook here and I'm going to fill you guys in and there's also a very exciting giveaway at the end of this video so make sure you stay tuned. Okay so first of all let's just get into why I decided to change the name of the boutique. I started my boutique in June of last year, so it's almost been one whole year of running the boutique, and I've absolutely loved every second of it. You guys know it's completely taken over my life and made me change my career path, and it's just given me so much happiness that I never thought that I would have, and a lot of that is to thank for you guys because most of you support my small business, and it's allowed me to do this for as long as I have. I also really quick want to mention that I do have a shirt on. I, I just realized it probably looks like I don't. I'm just wearing this like little crop top and it's strapless. Anyway, had to clear that up really quick. Back to why I decided to change the name. So Sun Bunny never really had much significance to me personally, and it didn't really feel like it had to do with clothing. So I had felt this way for a while now, like I had considered rebranding for a long time. And in fact, if you've been following me for a while you've seen Sun Bunny go through a couple of different changes in terms of the logo the colors I was using I was just trying to figure out what worked for the boutique eventually I decided I wanted it to be bright and pink and because I'm from Florida I wanted it to still have to do with Sun you know what I mean like the sunshine state those were the kind of things that were important to me but whenever I would tell people about my boutique like in real life Bunny never had anything to do with it and I feel like that being in the name just didn't carry any significance to me. So I really wanted to change it to something that sounds like clothing, that sounds like fashion, women's clothing, accessories, a name that sounds like a boutique. And that's when I came up with Sun Styled. But changing the name was not an easy process. I had to file for a new business tax number, a business license. Obviously I had to register my business with the state of Florida. It wasn't just as simple as just changing the name. Like I had to do so much for the past two weeks. I've been under so much stress. So the fact that it's finally all done and we are officially Sun Styled, I am so happy that this process is over because it has been so complicated. I had to open up new bank accounts because this is a new entity, it's a different name, so for tax purposes you have to completely do that. I had meetings with my CPA, I had to meet with an attorney and do like a six day trademark copyright search basically to protect myself from the logo that I came up with and the font that I was using which is a handmade font that I specifically purchased for commercial use so that I could use it in my logo and essentially by trademarking my logo, which I'm now in the process of doing, I will eventually be able to private label Sun Styled. And this was something that when I started out the boutique and it was doing really successful, I was very interested in eventually selling my own clothes, designing my own clothes and private labeling. But it costs a lot more money to start a clothing line than it does to run a boutique. So it's still going to be a while before I private label, but I thought why continue investing in a name that I know is not going to be long term for me? And that's how I felt about Sun Bunny. I will never forget where I started. I still think Sun Bunny is such a cute name and it's special to me. And I've kept a lot of the things that I've designed and branded with that logo just because it was where I started out and I'm not ever going to want to forget where I came from. But being Sun Styled is just so much freaking better, you guys. It totally describes the brand so much better and I love everything about it and with these changes moving into the future you guys know I'm trying to get more models so if you happen to be from southwest Florida please message me on Instagram or email me I need more models of all shapes sizes and colors I'm really trying to diversify the brand because I want Sun Style to be a place where every girl feels like she can shop And the whole rebranding and name change just kind of goes along with that. So hopefully that kind of explains why I decided to do this. I couldn't tell you guys that I was doing it because as you could see, it was such a process. And until I got my business license, my new tax ID, until the trademark search came up clear for me to use this, until I got my documentation in to apply for the trademark, until I purchased a new domain, until I talked to my CPA about closing down Sunbuddy, all of these things needed to be done before I could really announce this. Otherwise, 
I would just be saying, hey guys, I have a surprise to tell you, the boutique is changing. And then like, that's all I could tell you because I couldn't tell you the name yet until I knew for sure that it was mine. So I've hated keeping this secret from you guys. I honestly felt like I was like hiding that I was pregnant or something, but it was just that we changed the boutique and I am so happy. I also want to insert the new logo up here because it's so freaking cute. And if you guys decide to purchase anything from the boutique, I am gonna leave a discount code in the description just for you if you clicked on this video, because I know not a lot of people are gonna watch this because it's a sit down video like it won't get as many views so those of you that watched it you're the real OG fans I'm gonna give you guys a nice discount code and you can find it in the description and in case I don't say it enough thank you for supporting me when you guys support my business, it means so much to me. And to show my appreciation for your support, I am doing a giveaway with SunStyled. We're giving away a $100 gift card to shop the store, and this is an international giveaway, so any of you guys can enter. And I'm gonna put all of the rules up here, as well as in the description of this video. So if you want to screenshot, or you wanna go into the description of the video to figure out how you can enter. The giveaway has started today, so if you have not entered yet, go to the Instagram page, Make sure you enter this giveaway. It's my way of saying thank you and celebrating the new name change. If you actually stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much for your support. I love you so much. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.